Today, we're looking at our top four money-saving tips for couples that we've been using for five years. Welcome to the Drake Conversation. I'm Isaiah Drake. And I'm Christy Drake. And we're looking at our four tips to save money. So tip one is cutting down on non-essential items. So our top non-essential items are dining out, drinking out, getting takeaways and attending recreational activities. So these areas are great for cutting down in because you don't have to do them. You don't have to go out for food. You could make something excellent at home. To do this is have a look at your bank statement or credit card statement and just start marking out which purchases you've made from the previous month that you would determine as a non-essential item for you. Yeah, and this is definitely personal preference. So you might look at going out as an essential item. It's totally up to you. Talk with your partner about what this list looks like and what you think you can easily cut down on some things in order to save more money. Remember, this doesn't mean you can't enjoy those non-essential things that you have marked, but it just means that you are limiting how many times you're doing that every month. Yeah. Our second tip is to research affordable alternatives for your essential items. Things like your groceries, your rent or mortgage payment, mobile phones for us, electricity, water, all those essential things, you will know what your essentials are. Yeah, so look back on your bank statement or your credit card history just to make sure you get all of the items that are essential for you. And what you can do now is once you've marked those out, you now know who to contact to see what your options are to get a better deal. I know for us, I will regularly contact our phone company to see what deals we can get on our mobile phone plans. This late last year, we looked at reducing the cost of our phone plan uh, because we weren't actually using as much data on our phones that we had. So we've managed to reduce that cost by decreasing our data amount, which is great. We're now saving some more money. So basically, you're just looking for different options. You could look for different options in company, but you could also look for different rates within that company. Yeah. You will definitely save money if you do this, so have a look and do your research. We hope you're enjoying this video and getting lots of great tips. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any. And stay till the end because we have a bonus tip just for you so at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Tip three is to open multiple bank accounts. So basically the reason for this is so that you can have different accounts that are specifically saving for different topics. So for us, we've got, I think we've got over seven, we um, but we save for things like date night, we save for giving gifts, we save for definitely for travel, we've got a big one for that. We save for things like home renovations or- and We've even got um, groceries for our weekly groceries. Yeah, weekly groceries. So it's just a really great way of breaking it down so that you can see visually exactly how much you've got saved already for each category. Yeah. Something to consider here is if you are a renter or if you own your home. So the two sort of options you have is a savings account or an offset account. Now, if you own your house, you probably will have an offset account. The difference is essentially a savings account will earn you interest at whichever rate you've got that savings account at, while an offset account, you will pay less interest on your mortgage. Yeah, so both options, you're saving money. We encourage you to speak with your bank about opening up these accounts for you. This is going to skyrocket your savings, so make sure you do it. Tip four is to set up automatic bank transfers. You've already done all the hard work now. You know where you're saving money because you've done your research earlier about your affordable essentials as well as where you can cut down. So now you know how much money you can save. So now what you need to do with those new accounts you've made is set up these transfers into each of those accounts see all your hard work work for you yeah it makes it super easy as well especially if you've got a busy life to set up these automatic transfers so that you don't have to sit down and think about where your money is going every fortnight when your paycheck comes in just makes it super easy and seamless and you can literally just sit back and watch the money collect itself and don't worry you can always go back and change these transfers if you decide you need to be putting less in or even more in so definitely start doing it you made it to the bonus step. It is to create weekly spending limits for you and your partner. So all you have to do is create an extra account for each of you, which has what that weekly spending limit is. And it's just a really easy way to make sure you know exactly where you're spending that money. Yeah, yeah. just this year we've decreased our weekly spending limit. Uh, by tapping it was $10 earlier this year and that was to help us just save that little bit extra for our 
overseas trip that's coming up. Before that, we cut it down even further. So we've been on a journey since we first got married as to reducing our weekly spending limit to something that is good, but also helps us save money. Yeah, we definitely looked at what we were spending per week and realized that we were spending it on things that we didn't really need, didn't really add value to our lives. And so we've just been cutting down on those little things gradually in order to be able to save the big things like going on a six month year. Our question for you, let us know in the comments how many of these saving tips you've already started. Thanks so much for tuning into the Drake Conversation today. See you next time.